Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate self-portraits using AI. So first of all, open your browser. Then go to Playground AI. Playground AI. Click enter. Now go here. Now once you're here, first you'll have to create yourself an account using your Gmail. And once you're done with that part, you will have to click on this button besides the create button and click on on a board. Now once we're on this page, we're going to change some settings. The model we will be using is this one, the playground version one. Image dimensions will be set to 512x768. Prompt guidance will be set to 10, while quality and details will be set to 50. The seed will be randomized, while the sampler we will be using is the K Euler ancestral one. The number of sample images will be increased from one to four, while the session will be made private. Now we come to the left side of the settings. The filter we will be using is delicate detail, this one. Now just scroll down and upload your image that you want to create a self portrait of. Like I'm going to choose this picture and click on open. And in the prompts menu, just put in a full stop and just simply click on generate. Now the pictures have been generated, four of them to be exact. As you can see, there's not much resemblance with the uh, picture. So we're going to increase the image strength to 50. If you get the results at 30, that's good for you. Click on enter and click on generate. Now, as we have increased the image strength, the images produced are now much similar to the image we provided. Now, if you like a picture and you want to use it, but as you can see, the faces are not in great shape. So just click on that picture, go to options and click on face restoration and it will restore the face for you. And here is the face restored photo and it looks great. Now, if you want to use it, you can simply just download it. Now you can use a different filter for different results. For example, this one, the cinematic one, both of these have usually the same results. So you can use either one of these, but I prefer the delicate detail one. After changing the filter, just simply click on generate once again. As you can see, there's not much difference between the pictures generated by two different filters, the cinematic one and the delicate detail one. Make sure to use the face restoration option to get the best result possible. And as you can see, after face restoration, the picture looks very nice. So that's pretty much it. And that's how you can use AI for making a self portrait. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.